this is Teacher Sheryl. Our lesson for today is all about giving the place value and the value of the digits in a given decimal number through 10 thousands. Are you ready? Alright, let's start! The grade 5 Adelphas class was given a micrometer to measure the thickness of different leaves. They went to their school garden. In the garden, they saw tomato plant, eggplant, and squash plant. They measured the leaf of tomato, eggplant, and squash using micrometer. The chart below shows the data recorded. What does 2 in this number mean? Before we're going to answer our problem, let's study first the place value chart. In our place value chart, we have two parts. The whole number part and the decimal number part. And of course, it is separated with a decimal point. Numbers right side of decimal point are decimal numbers. Numbers at the left side of decimal point are whole numbers. We know already the place value and value of whole numbers. Today, we're going to study about the place value and value of decimal numbers. When we say decimal numbers, these are numbers less than 1. The place value of decimal numbers start with tens. Ends with PHS. Next is hundreds, then thousands, and we have also ten thousands. In grade 5 mathematics curriculum, we're going to study up to ten thousands. The value of tens place is one tenth of the value in the ones place. The value in hundreds place is one hundredths. The value of thousands place is one thousand. The value of ten thousands place is one ten thousands. To answer our problem, we're going to find the place value and value of digit 2 in each number. For the first number, what is the place value of 2? Two? 2 here is in the tens place, so the place value of 2 is tens. How about the value of 2? We have two ways in giving the value of a given number. One in a fraction form and the other one in decimal form. In a fraction form, we're going to write this number 2 as our numerator. And if we are in the tens place, we're going to put a denominator of 10. And in decimal form, we're going to disregard the right side of the number. Okay, our answer here is 2 tenths. Next is... What is the place value of 2 in this number? Alright, it is hundreds. How about the value of 2? In fraction form, it is 2 over 100 or 200. And in decimal form, it is 2 hundreds also. 3 here, we're going to make this one as 0. And we're going to disregard these numbers. Okay, and the last one. What is the place value and value of 2? Okay, the place value is? Alright, it is thousands. How about the value in fraction form? Okay, you're right. That is 2 over 1,000. Or we read this one as 2,000. And in decimal form is 2,000. 
Okay, three and one, we make this one as thirds. And five, we disregard. So, this is the way how we're going to give the place value and value of given digit. Okay, another example. Write the place value and value of the underlined digit. Okay, in our first example, the underlined digit is 6. What is the place value? After the decimal point, this is tens, hundreds, thousands. So the place value of 6 is thousands. How about the value of 6? Okay, the value of 6 is 6 thousands or 6 over 1,000 or we read this one as 6 thousands. We make these numbers at the left side of 6 as zeros and the right side we disregard. Okay, next number. The underlined digit is 3. What is the place value of 3? Okay, after the decimal point at the right side, this is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So the place value of 3 is ten thousands. How about the value of 3? Okay, we're going to make this one as zeros. Okay, the place value or the value of 3 is 3 ten thousands or 3 over 10 